Hey friends, I'm Chris Schufel with Chris in the Classroom and today we're doing some online learning. You know, one of the main questions I get when I speak to audiences is about cyberbullying. People say, Shoof, you talk so much about how to deal with people being mean to your face. But what if they're mean over text or Instachat or Snap to Face or Tweetbook or whatever? You know, it seems like mean behavior online is doing so much damage, almost more than mean behavior in person, and it's understandable. When people are using technology to communicate, they're disconnected from the people they're talking to, which means three things. One, people feel more comfortable saying and doing things that are more intense and more vulgar. Two, people don't see the reaction of the recipient, which removes a great deal of emotion from the conversation. And three, the recipients of the message are free to interpret the tone of the message, which can cause some pretty serious mind games. But what if I told you that mean behavior through technology isn't all that different from mean behavior in person? You see, there's only four ways people can be mean. Look at the diagram. They can say something mean to you, like a joke or teasing or rude comments and insults. They can say something mean to somebody else about you, like rumors and gossip. They can do something mean to you, like pushing, shoving, flicking, or rude gestures. And they can do something without you, like leaving you out of a party, a game, or a group of people. Those are the only things, the only four things that people can do in person or online. People can call you names and insult you in person and online. People can spread rumors about you in person and online. People can make rude gestures in person and online. And people can leave you out of things in person and online. Now, like I said before, because of the disconnect allowed you know, by being behind a screen, sometimes that behavior can be more vulgar and intense but it's still just those four things. So if you follow these three simple steps, it won't matter what happens, your feelings will be protected and you won't have any issues with anyone online. First, be resilient. I know I say it a lot, but it's super important. Remember that if someone is going to break your heart, they have to go through your brain. You can control whether or not you get upset or hurt by someone else's mean words or mean behavior. I have plenty of other videos to describe that more in depth, but remember this simple fact that if you get upset, they feel like a winner because that's their goal and they're going to keep doing it. So don't let them win. Don't get upset. Second, our first reaction is often to react back or post something in response to what that person said. You know, they post something mean and you respond with, shut up or stop it. You know, or maybe you even call them some names back. You know, don't fall into that trap. We need to remember the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. If you don't want others posting junk about you, don't post junk about other people. Now, I get it. I understand. Sometimes people are just going to be mean whether we did something to them first or not. Regardless, you need to treat them the way you want to be treated no matter how they treated you first. Like, let's say you post a selfie and someone says, Ew, that's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. You know, you could get upset and post right back, you know, at least my selfie didn't break my screen. Or you could just say, I know the lighting was horrible, hashtag messy hair, don't care, you know, or you could just reply with heart. Or you could just simply give the post a like, go on about your day, keep scrolling, you know. And, and as I've taught in previous videos, those two steps work so many wonders, you know, because once they see that you're not bothered and that you're not going to respond in the way that they're hoping, they're likely to leave you alone. But step three, finally, remember this, friends. Technology and social media are a privilege and a tool. Believe it or not, you can survive without them for a while. Don't be afraid to turn it off for a bit. You know, disconnect, unplug, unfollow, unfriend, delete, take a break, do a technology or a social media detox. You'll be okay. You know, think about all the other things you could be doing. You might actually like the world that exists off of your screen.
Well, that's it, friends. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you want to learn more about these methods and build resilient kids, check out the Squabbles program for students, parents, and schools. I guarantee you, you'll be glad you did. And until next time, class is dismissed.